I'm back with another lesson. Today, I have a special lesson about something we call the safe place here at the Muscleman Learning Center. The safe place is a place for you to go when you're having really big feelings. This is a sign to the grown-ups that you are feeling something and you need some time to calm down. You may have seen a poster like this one in your classroom. So today I have a book for you called Schubert is a Star. And we're going to learn how Schubert is taught how to use the safe place in his classroom. It's a stormy day in Bug Valley. Schubert and his sister Sophie are watching the rain from their kitchen window. They both feel mad because they can't go out and play. Schubert sings grumpily. Hooray, hooray, what a yuck day. Hooray, hooray. I feel mad today. Then he stomps off to his room. That night, Schubert still feels mad. He refuses to eat dinner. Oh, I'm not eating those worms. I don't even like fried worms. He refuses to do his homework. I'm not counting fleas. I don't even like counting fleas. Oh, he refuses to take a shower. I'm not getting in the rain. I don't like mud between my toes. Wow. The next day at school, Crenshaw the Cricket is doing his job over here as the class greeter. He welcomes Schubert and Sophie. Good morning, Schubert. Good morning, Sophie. Good to see you. Whatever, replies Schubert without even looking. <gasps> Sophie says, good morning, Crenshaw. And they share a butterfly handshake. Schubert's body is tense. He has angry hands and angry shoulders and an angry face. Can you show me what that looks like, boys and girls? <gasps> wow, you look really angry. He walks toward his desk and look what he does. <gasps> he steps on Etta the earthworm's hole just because he feels like it. <gasps> Etta screams from below, I don't like being trapped. Schubert, please move. And Schubert just stands there. <gasps> That's not very kind or helpful. <gasps> Here comes Schubert's teacher, Mrs. Bookbinder. She hears Etta using her big voice and walks over towards Schubert to help keep the classroom safe. As she approaches, Schubert moves his foot so that Etta can get out. Mrs. Bookbinder congratulates Etta. She says, Etta, you did it. You used your big voice to tell Schubert what you wanted. Then Mrs. Bookbinder speaks to Schubert. You seem to be having a hard start this morning, Schubert. Your shoulders are scrunched up like this and your hands are bowled up like this and you grumped at Crenshaw's greeting and you were hurtful to Etta. Your body and actions are telling me you might be feeling mad. Schubert says nothing. Thumbs up, boys and girls, if you think Mrs. Bookbinder is right. Is Schubert trying to show everyone he's mad? That's right. It looks like maybe he is. Mrs. Bookbinder points to three lotion bottles on the shelf. Would you like some boo-boo cream or cranky cream or concentration cream, she asked Schubert. He still says nothing. I can see by your actions that the cranky cream might be helpful. So she takes the cream and rubs a little bit on Schubert's hand, singing, Bye-bye, crankies. Bye-bye, crankies. Bye-bye, crankies. It's time to say goodbye. Schubert walks over and puts his head down on his desk. <clears throat> Mrs. Bookbinder gathers the rest of the class together. She asks them, boys and girls, have you ever felt mad? They all together, they respond, yes! She tightens her fist and continues, have you ever felt bug crazy mad? And they all answer, yes! And Mrs. Bookbinder makes an angry looking face to go with her tight fist and asks, have you ever felt oodle doodle bug crazy mad? Yes! The class, class shouts, yes, yes, yes! Magically, Mrs. Bookbinder softens her voice. Have you ever felt calm? She takes a deep breath and acts calm, and the class softly whispers, yes. Relaxing her face, she asks, have you ever felt caterpillar calm? They all whisper, yes. 
In her most peaceful voice, Mrs. Bookbinder asks one more time, have you ever felt oozy doozy caterpillar club? The class gently chants, yes, yes, yes. Well, boys and girls, which one helps you feel safe when you're caterpillar calm or bug crazy mad? Mrs. Bookbinder asks, most of the class picks caterpillar calm. What do you think, boys and girls? Now, Mrs. Bookbinder wonders, do you know how to change from bug crazy mad to caterpillar calm? The class sits totally still. No one knows the answer. With a gleam in her eye, Mrs. Bookbinder announces, Well, we're in luck. Schubert came to school bug crazy mad, giving us all a chance to learn how to be caterpillar calm. Look at Schubert's face, boys and girls. I'm going to teach you three ways to turn bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm. Schubert, are you willing to demonstrate the first way? Asks Mrs. Bookbinder as she holds up one finger. Schubert nods yes as he walks to the front of the class. Follow me. Do what I do. I'm going to teach you draining, Mrs. Bookbinder instructs. All right, boys and girls, let's try it. Hold those arms eight straight out in front of you and your and make your hands into fists. Tighten your muscles and your arms and squint your shoulders up to your cheers and ears and squeeze the muscles in your face tight, tight, tighter. Now take a deep breath, breathe out and relax. Opening your fists and letting all your anger drain out through your hands. Let your bug crazy mad feelings drain out of the, your body like water out of a sink faucet. Schubert follows Mrs. Bookbinder carefully. <gasps> Miss Bookbinder turns to the class and says, let's all try draining. All right, boys and girls, let's try it with Schubert's class. So hold those arms straight out front, hands into a fist, tighten up all your muscles, squint your shoulders up to your squeeze, 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 tighten, 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 and let all of it come out and drain it all out. Wow, Mrs. Bookbinder says, you're doing it. You held your arms out tight and let all your anger drain just like this. <gasps> Are you ready to learn the second way to change from bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm? She looks at Schubert. Are you willing to help again, Schubert? Feeling a little more re relaxed, Schubert says, sure, let's do another one. <gasps> Follow me and do what I do. I'm going to teach you how to balloon. Put your hands on your head and lock your fingers together. Breathe in deep. Raise your hands over your head like your air is filling a big balloon. Sniff in one more air. And let all the air out as you drop your hands to your head. The entire class emptied their pretend balloons. Angie, one of the three ant triplets, giggled. Oh, that air filled my body up with love. Schubert adds, I like ballooning. I don't feel so yucky anymore. Good for you, replies Mrs. Bookbinder. Boys and girls, look at Schubert's face. Oh, he looks like he's getting calmer. Okay, now Mrs. Bookbinder holds up three fingers and she says, are you ready for the third way to change bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm? This time Schubert nods with excitement. <gasps> yes, yes, all eyes are on Mrs. Bookbinder as she pulls out a star wand. Look at that, S-T-A-R with glitter and tassels. <gasps> the third way to change bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm is to be a star. Be a star means S for stop and smile. T for take a deep breath. A for and. R for relax. Mrs. Bookbinder touches the wand on Schubert's shoulder as he demonstrates. He stops what he's doing. Smile. Take a deep breath. And relax. Mmm. Benny the Beetle jumps up and starts dancing. If you're angry and you know it, be a star. If you're angry and you know it, be a star. Oh, Benny, hold on. We have a place in the classroom where you can use these skills when you feel bug crazy mad. It's called the safe place. This beanbag will be the safe place for our classroom. Everyone say safe place. 
I'm going to cry. It's I'm going to try it out, shouts Crenshaw, and he sits in the safe place and starts to try a drain. <gasps> Next, Lucinda and Etta go and practice their be ballooning. <gasps> I'm going to be a star, announces Schubert as he tries out the safe place. He works, he shouted. It works. I changed my feelings of oodle doodle bug crazy man to oozy doozy caterpillar calm. <gasps> Mrs. Bookbinder beams with love. Yes, you did it, Schubert. You used your star power. And the class gathers around the safe place as Schubert begins to sing a song. Hooray, hooray, man is okay. Hooray, hooray, comes a better way. Hooray, hooray, I changed my yucky day. Hooray, hooray, I am a star today. 